I've had several people say, oh my gosh, how do you do this? You make it look so easy. There's nothing easy about this. There's nothing fun about this. I mean, well, I guess there is some fun just because <sighs> life would be really freaking miserable if you decided to just be miserable about everything. Uh, so I, I don't do anything for myself. Actually, the only thing that I do do for myself is um, my hair. But um, you see, I'm, I'm in my living room right now, okay? Uh, <laughs> over here is my straightener and my hair dryer and my brush because I do my hair out here. There's a mirror, see? Uh, so I can do my hair while being next to the kids. Um, that's the only thing I do. I don't do makeup. I don't even wax my eyebrows. None of that stuff. Um, a lot of, a lot of my life is in this room. There's, there's nursing care that comes in Monday through Friday, seven to five. Um, but I still can't really get a job. Um, I can't really leave the house full time just because the nurses aren't allowed to drive. So I can't, I can't be very far away because just in case something happens and the kids need to go to the hospital, I have to, I have to drive. Um, I, <laughs> the other half of my life is spent in the kitchen um, and not making dinner. It's really just making drugs and, and formula and, and food and stuff um, for the kids. I, I'm on my own on the weekends. Um, my husband works every other Saturday, but right now he's, um, he's recovering from abdominal surgery. So it's going to be a few months before he can even pick up the kids. So I'm kind of, kind of doing it on my own. Um, he does stay up with them at night though, so I can get some sleep. So at least there's that. Um, <sighs> It's taken me a couple years to get to this point where I can actually be like, uh, and <sighs> another, another thing that helps me is, uh, I have my own drug cabinet, so there's that. Um, so for the special needs moms, for caregivers in general, um, I got, I got nothing. I don't. I guess just a sense of humor. Um, lower your standards of hygiene. Um, I think I like, I take a shower every couple of days. Um, guys, there's really this, there's nothing easy about this. You just kind of make do. And when you do stuff over and over again, every single day is Groundhog Day. I mean, every freaking day is the same. I wake up in the morning, it's always Monday. I'm going to either sleep a little bit while the nurses are here and then go to school, clean the house, do laundry. Um, as soon as the nurses leave at five, I get the drugs ready. I get the kids catheterized, give them suppositories. Um, nebulizers, do their medications, put them to bed, spend several hours fighting with them to find the perfect uh, position so that they can breathe and actually start going to sleep. Um, and then on, on Saturday and Sunday, I wake up and I have to make the meds, do the catheters, nebulizers, flip kids like pancakes because they get bed sores if you leave them, if you leave them in one spot too long. Um, like it's just uh I don't I don't ever sit down. Um I mean I sit down sometimes. Um usually when the kids are are in bed. Um uh the kids go from that bath chair right there um to their tables um where they lay on their side, they lay on their back, and then they can also get in the recliner. So it's like just just playing musical children. They just, they go, 
different spots. And then the rest of my day is spent um, making food, uh, dealing with, <sighs> sometimes they get clogged and I'm gonna have to like run this through a, a filter and I have to like just put it in another bag and it's not, <sighs> It's not, <sighs> yeah, I have fun. Sometimes I, I make jokes, I dance. Um, most of that stuff I just do because it's entertaining to my kids. And they just, they just like it. And um, I just want them to smile and I want them to be happy and I want them to enjoy their lives. I don't, um, I don't know, I guess, let me go in here so I don't say this in front of them. Um, I don't know, I think the mindset comes from the terminal diagnosis. Cause it's like, why? Why should I sit here and feel sorry for myself? when they're trapped in bodies that don't work, when they're physically and mentally disabled, when they can't eat, they can't move. <sighs> Caregiver burnout is real, but when you have no other option, you have to get out of bed every day. <sighs> that doesn't mean it's easy. <sighs> you just have to decide that today's gonna be a good day. You just have to decide that your kids don't deserve to see you like this. They deserve a smile. They deserve a goofy mom dancing around. They deserve to, they deserve to be happy. They deserve to have the best life possible for however long they are on this earth. So it kind of pisses me off. People are like, oh my God, how do you make it look so easy? It's, Because you only see like a fraction of our lives. That's probably how it looks easy. Nobody wants to pull the camera when the kids are joking or when there's poop all over the place or when they exorcist vomit all over and you have to get a new rug. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to get the camera out for that stuff, right? So of course it's gonna look easy. So, um, I just wanted to tell you guys, like, moms of special needs parents, caregivers of, of spouses or adult kids or anybody that is putting their own life on hold to make sure that someone else's life is good, then you're amazing, you're wonderful, and it's okay to feel inadequate. It's okay to have thoughts of what if or I wish... It's all completely normal. But don't ever tell somebody that, that it, they make stuff look easy because it's, it's just a mindset of trying to have a good day every day. That's all.